And I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's young money. I don't know if it's new money. I think Brentwood is basically new money anyway, right? It's where people with new money go to live and become rich together. And I mean new money like in the last 50, 40 years. New money people are fucking assholes, man. Now, your kids, kids, and, you know, because you, you got money, and fine. And they'll learn how to behave. But you jerks that are having money for the first time, you're not fucking unicorns. I saw a, a story yesterday about the Brentwood Farmer's Market. Now, you wouldn't, I, if it was a normal Sunday, and there was no deadly virus that was wiping out old people and sick people like wildfire, if that wasn't happening, I still wouldn't be at your stupid farmer's market because the vibe of it is fucking awful. I'll take my farmer's market down on Fairfax. By the way, the people that aren't as rich as the white people that aren't as rich as the Brentwood people, the people in the valley... The Valley Farmer's Market, who's done good but not great. You guys are still pricks, but the your Farmer's Market's cool. Or this Brentwood shit is entitled and shitty. It just, it's all bad all the time. I have to spend one Thursday a week in Brentwood. It's required. The place that I go, so I don't drink and die, sets up shop there. And I have to go because I can't move the thing from there. But it really is the worst. uh, It's just a terrible place. I was having coffee with Keatus a couple weeks before this shit hit. Two weeks before it was all going on. And to his credit, he was like, something's going on, man. This is not a good thing. And he was like, we all need to take this serious. And I'm like, get out of here. You're fine. It's fine. It's SARS. That was my take on it. It will be all right. Just weed through it. But he knew something was going on. It was weird. And this woman, from we were sitting at a coffee shop on San Vicente Boulevard. I think it was Alfred's. We didn't want to walk nowhere else. And anyway, Alfred's is shit. But this woman just fucking hack noggies all over us twice. And then just gets up in her yoga pants and grabs her yoga mat and her fucking matcha and she walks on down the road. I mean, you, these people are entitled shit. Don't get me started on the anti-vaxxers. It's the same entitled unicornish thing that new money and white people, it's just fucking awful is what it is. And when I see these people, they were... They were teaming around each other like it was a normal Sunday afternoon. Most of the the yoga MILFs just got done getting fucked by their trainer, their tennis coach. The dudes are being good dads before football probably at one. And there were thousands of them here yesterday, man. When are you guys going to get the fucking memo? You are a human being. Yes, you have money. That doesn't mean that you don't become uh, an unhuman or that you become better than human. We have got to all listen to this shit at the same time, in the same place, for the same amount of time. Or this will continue, and we will have to stay in our fucking houses. And I'm over it, man. I don't want to be in my fucking house anymore, but I'm going to be. Fuck these people. Here's the coronavirus dashboard. Currently right now, there's 766,000 people in the world with coronavirus. 36,000 people have died. In America, we've got 156,000 people with the coronavirus. There's been 2,800 people that have died. Now, those 153,000 people with the coronavirus, well, some of them, most of them ain't happy with you. 
Brentwood, you anti-vaxxing, unicorn creeping, new money shithead entitled roughage buying, vegan eating, fuck you. This is a real thing. It was a it was uh, it was like ten times less a week ago. I don't know these goddamn numbers, but it was a lot less last week, and this shit is just multiplying, and people are going to unnecessarily die. And it's because of assholes like you. That's all. So when you get your kale and you get your sunflower seeds not salted, and you grab your hemp purse, and you get your fucking vagine wiper from Goop, and you trot on home thinking that nothing is going to hurt you, it's the same concept that you assholes fail to miss with the anti-vaccination thing. We, as a whole, need you to get on board. You're not special. You think you're special, and you continue to do this shit, and it will hurt other people the same way that the measles is back. And don't fucking tell me it's not, but the measles are back because of the anti-vaccination thing. And you need to get with the human fucking program. In fact, I might go to the farmer's market next Sunday with a sign and a bullhorn. This is good video content. Go the fuck home, you entitled fuckos. Take Lars and fucking uh, Juniper and get them in your fucking Discovery Land Rover and go the fuck home. Fuck. Anyway, I had a good weekend. (laughs) I was in Brentwood. I went and visited a friend of mine in Brentwood who is adhering to the policy. He's he's being great about it. But these motherfuckers got to self-police, man. You got to tell all your other rich, entitled, new money, shithead friends, they got to stay inside and don't go buy cabbage at the fucking Brentwood Corona Mart. Please. Petita, what are you doing at the Venice Farmer's Market on Friday at 7 a.m.? Get out of there. 